Hello, S.C. Skillman here, reading from my book, Illustrated Tales of Warwickshire, and today a story from the section on rural crimes. The Plough at Ethorpe, the centre of a highly successful wartime black market operation. A delightful pub in an idyllic village, the Plough, today exudes a charm and hospitality just as it would have done in the 1940s, except then it was a hive of illegal activity and renowned as a supply centre at the heart of the black market. A wartime resident of Ethorpe, Julie, explains that during the Second World War the black market operated and the racketeers who ran it were known as spivs. Ethorpe was a thriving centre for the local black market and the Plough Inn was its focal point. Most people seemed to be involved. Anything you couldn't get in the shops you could obtain at the Plough Inn. People came from Coventry to buy the illicit goods. My mother used to sell our bread units to a Coventry businessman and his wife because we didn't need them. Seekers of black market goods would come to the plough in the evening, buy a drink and sit in the smoking room with their pockets stuffed with carrier bags, waiting for the landlady to appear at the inn. She would quietly call the name and nod towards a back room and one by one people would get up and disappear into the back of the pub where she would meet them and take them into her storeroom where they could select every item that they might possibly want.